And there is that entry burn the beginning. This burn lasts about 36 seconds long. Stage two FTS is saved. Well, that entry burn continues. We're just about a minute away from Seco. We'll have a number of events all happen in rapid succession. Uh, it'll Happy be the shutdown. second engine cutoff. Stage one we'll be looking for down. that uh, stage one landing burn shortly after. Yeah, actually, just within a few seconds of each other. It's such a cool view on your left screen, seeing Bob and Doug on Dragon. Right now, you can see the displays that they are seeing right now themselves. Terminal guidance. And back throttle step. We are coming up 25 seconds or so away from Seco, or second engine cutoff. This is also the point where Bob and Doug are experiencing their highest G-force. We're seeing the counter tick up to right about 1.8. Copy, Shannon. You heard Shannon, so that just means they're in their final abort zones. If they were to abort at this point, would either be in abort to orbit or to land off the coast of Ireland. Standing by for second one cutoff startup. confirmation. And back throttle step. And back shut down. Stage one landing winner. Confirmation of Seco's second engine cutoff. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love Dragon, you. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal orbital insertion. Launch confirmation is disarmed. Nominal Dragon orbital copy. insertion. Nominal orbital one insertion. Deploy. And what you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship, where our first stage will be coming down. Looks like we lost that live view, but we'll wait for confirmation of that landing shortly here. Falcon 9 first stage is successfully landed. And there you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. This is the first Falcon 9 to carry humans to orbit, so very exciting for us. And as you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are still making their way to their targeted orbit. M1D to recovery one. So exciting today. M1D. <laughs> It doesn't stop. It does not stop. All right, we did We did hear again that call out, good orbital insertion, so that means Falcon 9 and Dragon right now exactly where they're supposed to be. Can we need a FRC on recovery one? And it's right at about 12 minutes when Can Dragon will separate. Looks like we saw a zero G indicator floating around there. I know Bob and Doug owe us a little bit about what exactly that is that they brought up with them. <laughs> And before separation, before Dragon initiates separation from the second stage, they do make sure to make, they, they do ensure that the vehicle is not spinning and it is in good con condition before we separate. That's right, the upper stage does small attitude maneuver using some cold gas thrusters built into the rocket body itself. Exactly, so we do expect that separation to occur in about a minute from now, but they do wait until they have full confirmation that it is ready to separate. Such cool views. I cannot get over this view that we are seeing right now. Bob and Doug on the right screen, inside of Crew Dragon, out in space. Yeah, already 200 kilometers over planet Earth, or a little over 124 miles, traveling in excess of 2,700 meters. 27,000 meters per second, or about 16,000 miles per hour. So again, we're just standing by. That separation event should be coming up shortly. Then they'll begin a series of checks on the Draco thrusters that are going to be used to maneuver and then power Dragon on its flight to the International Space Station. Standing by for separation. Expected loss of signal, wallops. It sounds like we had an expected LOS loss of signal with one of the ground stations. Waiting for confirmation now of that. Dragon setup. separation confirmed. Dragon separation <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> there is a great view right in front of you Compound of Dragon separating. Separation confirmed. And there's that call out. 
Dragon is now officially making its way to the International Space Station today. Dragon SpaceX with that separation call. Uh, we have a few words for you from our Falcon 19. Standing by. Dragon, Chief Engineer on Dragon to Ground. Bob Doug, on behalf of the entire launch team, thanks for flying with Falcon 9 today. We hope you enjoyed the ride and wish you a great mission. Thanks, Bala. Congratulations to you and the F9 team for the first uh, human ride for Falcon 9. And it was incredible. Uh, appreciate all the hard work and uh, thanks for the great uh, ride to space. Copy all. Good luck. Like it. Proud of you guys and the rest of the team. Uh, thank you so much for what you've uh, done for us today, putting America back into low Earth orbit up from the Florida coast. Got the L. Good luck. Godspeed. All right, so Bob and Doug are in and Dragon space. Dragon SpaceX, we confirm nominal eclipse activation in service section Draco checkouts. Uh, no scone deploys in progress.